Hi everyone, welcome back and this is your old buddy Zericon and I'm here to do some magical book reviews for you today. Today is December 15th, 2016 and I've got some new books and some old books I want to show you. Uh, well, one old book in particular and I'll, I'll go ahead and pull it up first. Uh, you probably can't see it very well, it's faded pretty bad. I'll open to the page here. And it is Yin and Yang, a novel of an American doctor in China, uh, written in 19, or put out in 1936. Uh, he goes into a lot of things about uh, spirit and, and a lot of things about what he learned while he was in China. Uh, it's by, or she said, she did. It's Alice Tisdale Hobart. Who wrote the book. If you know more about the book, please drop it down here in the comments. I'd like to know more about it. Uh, it's very interesting. It's kind of, my, my copy is kind of in rough shape, but uh, I have read through this, but it was kind of a skim read when I first got this. I got this in a batch of books from eBay uh, that came to me. Uh, had a bunch of other books that I wanted in it. And this was just one that was tossed in there, and I've come to uh, really enjoy having this book. And and uh, I need to spend the time, but I got I got a book list over my head that I need to read for reviews right now. I've got several feelers out there for other books and products to to show you guys to uh, review for you. Uh, Hopefully those will come through soon and I'll have some brand new stuff to show you. I'm planning on doing contests like once a month uh, for a book and it'll be a brand new book and I'll, I'll send it out uh, after a short contest. We'll, we'll go with uh, uh, by the comments in the comment sections uh, on the days of the contest. Okay, the first, the second book I want to show you, that was the first book. The second book I want to show you is Voice in the Forest by Jamal Diffiosa. Jamal is a member of the Alexandrian tradition and this this story basically goes into how Jamal and his friends uh, have this had this uh, tradition they would go out into the woods and camp every year and they would always take along a spirit board with them and one time they were actually using the spirit board and uh, a presence came through and uh, this presence was very familiar to some of the people that were there uh, they finally figured out that this was Alex Sanders that had come back and was speaking to them well you might call bullshit on that but I'll tell you what from what I've read in this book and what I've heard from the mouth of Maxine Sanders in interviews, it sounds like this book is the real deal. Uh, they did reach Alex Sanders, and he talked about uh, what a little bit about what it was like on the other side. Uh, they asked uh, they asked him questions that nobody that Alex could have known, and he answered those questions. He actually in in the board wrote out questions for Maxine, and uh, wrote out statements to Maxine that she immediately understood was Alex talking to her. A uh, very interesting book, a very talented writer, Jamal DeFiosa. Uh, him and his him and his husband Kerrigan Griffin are wonderful folks. They used to do blog talk radio shows. I'm not sure if they still are or not, but I love my my copy and it is uh I've even got a little bookmark from Jamal and uh yeah really a cool book i wanted to say this one was was uh signed but it's not i've got a couple others of his that i believe are signed uh he wrote another one called uh 
talking to the dead talks about uh, spirit communication and uh, it's a very very good book I will review it later uh, check out Jamal DeFiosa and he is on Harvest Shadows Press that's one that's a new one on me but it's uh, he's been reviewed by several folks in here yeah, it's called A Voice of the Forest, Spirit Conversations with Alex Sanders. Uh, very good book. Very good book. It's got reviews from Chaz Clifton. Uh, Star Spawn, who's an Alexandrian Wiccan elder. Horns and Crescent is reviewed by Lauren. Just it's just a really interesting book. Even Christopher Pinzak uh, wrote a review. Very good book. Check it out. All right, the next book I got is I got this in a bunch of books that a fellow on Facebook was selling, and uh, I had no idea what I was getting for sure. But uh, this comes from Hermes House. It's called the Complete Illustrated Encyclopedia. A encyclopedia of witchcraft and practical magic. Beautifully uh, illustrated book. There's tons. Get it up here where you can see it a little bit. There are tons and tons of, of very vivid pictures and very good information in there. Uh, reaching all the way from uh, the humble beginnings of witchcraft uh, all the way through to quantum physics and it's also it also has uh, information from many of our pagan elders or what some people call big nose pagans or, or big name pagans Isaac Bonowitz coined the phrase big nose pagans uh, it's got magic, myth, religion, and science witches and supernatural beings earthly modern witchcraft or early modern witchcraft, witch hunts, modern magic, witchcraft today, western magic today, and then it goes also into apprentice to magic, uh, magic in action, there's a big huge glossary, and uh, there's tons of picture acknowledgments, because this thing is, I mean, just straight out, beautifully illustrated. Uh, great book, it shows here that it's uh, price is well this was printed in China it says I don't see a price on it uh, like I said I bought this in a bunch of books for like 30 bucks uh, a definite watch watch out for check it out in the library or wherever I'm, I'm sure you'll find that and the next one is from one of my neighbors she lives just about 70 miles away from me. Let me get a little sip of coffee here. I get too dry, then I can't speak. Uh, her name is Elizabeth Gerdepi. And this book is called The Pagan Clergy Book of Rituals and Ceremonies. Very beautifully bug book. And I believe she prints these herself. It says Elizabeth Garadepi is an author, artist, teacher, healer, shamanic practitioner, and high priestess. She has been in a pagan. She has been in a been a pagan her entire life, and has a vast spiritual black background, including Wicca, shamanism, Santeria, and metaphysics. Elizabeth has been heading covens and teaching the craft for over twenty five years. She has had covens all over the U.S., mainly in Florida, Oregon, and Wyoming, to which she is still affiliated as elder. When Elizabeth is not practicing the craft, she can be found in the nearest antique store. 